NDD Uneli, who has an indigenous agro-processing company. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real pleasure to be here, all protocols observed. I'm the co-founder of a company called AACE Foods, and AACE Foods was established primarily because of our conviction that we were importing 90% of the processed foods we consumed in Nigeria, 40 to 60% of our fruits and vegetables went to waste, and yet 60% of our population was engaged in agriculture. Can we go to the next slide, please? Thank you. Next slide, please. I believe we actually have the wrong presentation. Please, can you put these foods to address this problem? To take advantage of the great agricultural produce in our country, maximize the potential of our farmers, and address the high rates of malnutrition in our country. And since we started, Ace Foods has basically sourced from 10,000 farmers across Nigeria. We produce 12 spices and seasonings, which many of you might have seen in 10 cities around the country. We also produce three complementary food products, soya maize, which addresses moderate malnutrition, so so nourish, and our bean flour. In addition, we work with IDP camps and nonprofits to provide these products across the region, ensuring that more of our children have access to nutritious food. Our factory is located in Sangota, and we've really enjoyed the support of the Ogun State Government that has committed to working with local producers to process locally. In addition, some of our successes, we've been able to export our products to the Netherlands, at least one container. We've gotten our products into the US market, and we're in major shelves, shop price, spa, but more than that, we've worked with FMCGs to actually supplement what they used to import, all the chili pepper, the ginger, the garlic that they were historically importing, to actually source locally. I would like to end with just a few suggestions for the Nigerian government and the great team of individuals sitting here. When we think about the opportunities in the made in Nigeria sector, they are enormous. In fact, we cannot quantify the opportunities, but there are four major barriers which I would like to suggest we address. The first is supply chain. Every single producer in Nigeria sources locally but struggles to find the inputs from across the farmers. Imagine if every state government here would devote a portion of the website for their state with a map of their state which shows where we could find every single produce we're looking for. In our case, we source most of our ginger from Kaduna State. We have had to find the clusters in Koi and all parts of Kaduna. If every state government could devote a portion of their website to telling us where we can find soya, beans, maize, garlic, ginger, we'd be impressed because it would ensure that you can remove the middleman in the process. The second intervention we would pray that you think about is the importance of supporting and protecting Nigerian consumers. What does this require? It requires that we stop the adulteration of the food, we ensure that we strengthen SON and NAFDAQ so that the food is that, that's coming to Nigeria is good for Nigerian consumers, and that we also protect those who invest in food here so that they source locally. And finally, I would suggest that we really create incentives for proudly Nigerian products. What does this mean? It means that instead of importing relief products from the World Food Program, you source food from Nigerian companies that are producing nutritious food to feed our people. And that is really critical because we can ensure that the malnutrition that we're facing in the North is addressed by our people. And I'll end with a quote, my favorite quote, which says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. I believe that the Vice President's team and the leadership here is committed to going far. If we're going to go far and support proudly Nigerian products, it means that we ourselves have to look inwards as policy makers, as legislators, to work with the businesses to create an enabling environment for businesses like Ace Foods and others to thrive. Thank you very much. <laughs>